Hello and welcome to Mobility Resort Motegi, formerly known as Twin Ring Motegi. And we are here in the Arca car. And I'm back after being gone for a little bit. <laughs> Again. Um, <laughs> just uh, wasn't really feeling too into it in uh, recent times. But uh, you know I couldn't miss some... Uh, I'm going to call it Twin Ring. I'm just going to call it Twin Ring. I know it's Mobility Resort Motegi, but I think it's always going to be Twin Ring to me. Or at least... Until I get used to Mobility Resort Motegi, whatever that even means. But, uh, yeah, I'm back. Um, just kind of started doing other things, getting preoccupied with real-world stuff. How it goes sometimes. Uh, but we are here to do some qualifying as the number one car in this race. It is midday on Thursday when I'm recording this. So... Um, not the highest participation really, but we got a pretty full field, even if it is only a 2.1k. So we'll try to get a good run to the line here and see what we can do. Trying to keep it close to this white line. Okay, so far so good. I think we got a good run out of turn two there. I'm gonna break about the 100 marker. And then you get on the brakes pretty good here. Ooh, got a little loose there. That kind of ruined my run out of four, but I think we're still gonna set up uh, all time best for me. So I'll take it, but we'll see if we can do anything else on lap two here. Maybe we'll get a little extra grip now that the tires are a little warmer. Right now we are P2 for qualifying. I think I could definitely gain some time in 3 and 4 there. Hopefully I don't get loose this time. Uh, I don't know. About the same, I think. 6.36 to a 6.53, so pretty much the same. I think maybe the tire is getting a little more worn for that second lap. Maybe hurt a little bit too much, even if I maybe executed in 3 and 4 a little bit better. But that's okay. I think it's a good time. we got the number 2 in the 5s. Very fast lap. And the number 3 just behind us for 3rd place. Unfortunately, unless someone beats us, we're going to be stuck on the outside front row. Some things never change for me, and I think that's one of them that's <laughs> just apparently never going to change. I hate starting outside front row, but it happens like every single race, I swear. But uh, I guess we'll do a couple laps here while we're waiting. About two minutes or until everybody readies up. And I doubt everyone will ready up, that doesn't happen too often. I feel like I might be able to dive it into three even harder if I just get hard on the brakes but it feels unnatural to me because during the actual race I'm trying to be nicer to the tires so maybe I could practice that a little bit more to try to get through three and four a little faster but definitely during the race I'm gonna be a little easier on the entry there so as not to wear my tires out But I really do think uh, the best way around here is to really stick to that white line as best you can and then fight the uh, loose on throttle when you're going through 1 and 2. I really like 1 and 2 here. It's a lot of fun. I always like a, a turn that uh, you have to fight the wheel a little bit. It's even more fun in the uh, faster cars, I feel like. Here the Arca car is a little less powerful, so you don't have as much of that fighting the looseness. But still enjoyable. Kind of reminds me of like a uh, flatter Texas 3 and 4. Where you're going pretty fast through there and keeping a little throttle in it. You might have to fight off uh, the loose car a little bit. And maybe that's why I like it. I like Texas a lot too. So, we will park it now. Not too much longer, as I predicted. Not everyone's readied up. 
We uh, didn't get the nine ready. Let's see if we can fix this. All right, we'll have that ready. And uh, we'll see what we can do. It looks like we've got like about four cars that can get the hot lap speed down, and then there's a, like a two second or a two tenth gap. Not two second. That'd be ridiculous. Two tenth gap between fourth and fifth, but um, that might not matter depending okay. on how guys can uh, do on the longer runs here. <laughs> Session last lap. I was feeling okay with how I was doing with tire wear during practice. Here's your exact strength of field. It's feeling okay, but I'm way out of practice, so we'll see how it goes. I'm going to put the brake bias all the way back, get as much turn with the brakes as I can, because you do have a pretty big braking zone entering turn three. You want to get the car to the bottom as best you can. Oh, we're going to have to do a bunch of this. My favorite. Not going to set my expectations too high for myself here since I, like I said, am way out of practice. Couple weeks. And uh, basically jumped into the practice here before this race. And uh, that's all I got. 30 minutes of practice heading out to this. And we're back into it. I will say it's a this first time I've been forced to use the UI, which is old news to people at this point, I'm sure, because people have been forced to use that for a little while now. But man, it's tough for me to get used to it. I just wish that there was a way to filter like I want to like look at the oval races that are available and the the official oval races available. But it feels like I like when I have to filter it with one of the drop downs. It's like okay, look at all the oval races or look at all the uh, Official races. You can't like set multiple filters, as far as I can tell, on the list, and that's a little frustrating. I'll live. First world problems. It's <laughs> like the two down there, warming his tires up a little bit. Down there in the apron. The uh, dynamic track could heat up that bottom lane quite a bit as time goes on in this race. I don't expect to move up a lane at all, although I could be wrong. It could just mean that we uh, will have to adjust our pace a little bit. Is this a first gear start? No. It's just a very slow launch, it looks like. Oh. Hopefully I don't mess this up. I need to get a launch. I'm nervous I'm getting back into it after a little while. Hopefully we're officers I'll have ourselves a clean race. Okay, Post car is off. Green, green, green. Pit road is now open. Yeah. The next car is the leader. Takes a very wide arc into one there. Get to the bottom though, which is great. Definitely where I wanted to be. Ooh, okay, pretty loose. We're okay though. That's what I want. I want to be on the right rear. Retaliation? What, dude? We got retaliation barely through lap one. How do you even build up a history in the race long enough to have retaliation that quickly? I tell you, people love their payback. Good chat. More than racing sometimes, it feels like. We're just going to try to be smooth, try not to do anything crazy to the tires. Uh, we got 32 laps to do here, or 30 left at this point. The leader has just done 36.7. The guy behind has just and, done uh, I want to be there at the end, so.
I like that shallower exit out of two. Maybe that's not the best way to do it, but... Seems to work for me. Feels like you've got a lot of wide track here, but you don't necessarily need to use it. It feels like you're kind of just wasting time if you fade out all the way to the wall. That's just the impression I get. The lap time was at Especially in a car that's a little slower like this, and you don't really need all that momentum. So the four is holding on pretty good behind us. Keeping up with the two. He might just be racing to a pace though, so I'm not going to assume he's falling off already or anything. He's probably going about it smartly. I could have kept it a little lower there. See some smoke. Looks like it's in the pits though. Maybe someone getting a new car. You've just done a 57.0. Got behind entering a little more shallow into turn one there, it looked like. In my peripheral. If we are able to save the tires pretty well, I think where it's really going to show is there in turns three and four as the sharper corner is going to require more tire grip to be fast. Or is right up on us. He might try to pass. I'm not going to fight it too hard if he does. No reason to waste time for that. My goal is trying to get the win, not necessarily fight off for second place the whole rest of the run. Two's got a really good feel for this track, though, it looks like, this combo. That lap time was 37.1. I was worried that the four, with the shallower entry there into one, was going to try to get to my inside. So I kind of entered a little bit harder once I noticed he was maybe going to try it, because I really don't want to just let him dive it in. But at the same time, I, I don't know if I necessarily want to enter as shallow as he is, so... I hate that he's doing that. You know, force me to have to change my preferred line just so he doesn't dive it in. Just stick it down there. I might consider shifting to third later in the run, depending on how tart, tart, how tart the the car gets. Yeah, you know, when it starts getting grapefruit levels of tart, then I'll start um, maybe shifting to third. No, I meant to say tight. If it gets really tight, then I might consider third gear, but um, a wide there. Uh, but whenever I was practicing, I found that uh, I like fourth gear with this current setup right now. So we're through 10, just under a third of the way there. That was a Ooh, I think he hit the apron in front of us. That could be a chance for us to gain a little bit back on him. Going a little bit wide there even, he had a rough corner.
could be tough to pass for us even if we do get there and even if we are feeling better grip wise when we do get there because this place is pretty single groove down there on the bottom I think that could be the case even if we uh, start heating up that bottom lane there we okay cards getting tighter but not unmanageable it's kind of where I would expect it to be by now I think tried a little bit of a different approach there into three and it did not really work how I wanted. He's gonna be to my inside this time. Inside. I'm just gonna let him go. Keep high. Clear. No reason to fight it there. Don't want fourth place to catch us. See if the four can track down the two at all. Still pretty early in this race, we're not even halfway, so. Still a lot can happen. You can see how much he's driving to the inside there. He's making it work though. He's getting it to stay. I just, I'm surprised he's able to hold that bottom line entering at such an angle. Got about point eight behind us to fourth, and then a big gap behind that. So, uh, unless we mess something up real bad, I think we're pretty good for a top four. Much better three and four that time. I think I've got to be more aggressive on the entry and just balance how much brake I'm using a little bit better. Yes. Right, I definitely see the leader taking his wider entry into one, kind of like I was, and then the four sticking his nose down there. And uh, we could end up with a situation where neither of them wants to give up the line they want to take. They could get into each other. Hopefully, that's not what happens. But I could see a future where that happens. And then probably an argument like, oh, I was there, you chopped me, and then you dove it in on me, being the other side of the argument. That seems like a classic cause of like 90% of accidents, I feel like. You can just see how widely those two lines are differing into one. They're both a little bit better than me, though, I think. They might have uh, done this a couple times already this week, learned it a little bit more, probably have raced more recently than a month ago. <laughs> See, I've got plenty of excuses for running third. <laughs> uh, it's already looking like they're going to do the thing I think they're going to do. Leader does not look like he's ever going to be willing to give up his line, and the four is looking for any chance he can to get to his inside. We'll see if I can predict the future here. As much as I don't want to avoid their wreck, 
or to pass anybody because of a wreck. We would be first in line if we can get past it. To reap the reward. Number three has fallen back from us a little bit, so we're kind of finding ourselves in our own little island here in third. It's fine by me, I can focus on just hitting my line, watching these guys duke it out. It comes to that. Twelve to go here, as we've done 20 laps. That last lap was at 37.6. I mean, that, that's the guy ahead. He's like hitting the apron. Kind of crazy. But he's able to make it work as well as he does. I can definitely feel that uh, bottom lane getting less grip. And I feel like it's not just the tires. I feel like it's maybe that dynamic track causing some of it as well. Just less speed down there as there was earlier in the race. lower and slower approach to the turn that time. I don't think it really worked. They haven't really driven away too bad. I mean, they're still right there in front of me. Closer than the guy behind is to us, but they're just a little tiny bit off, and I think P2 is starting to lose the leader as well. He might have pushed a little too hard trying to catch him. Two, or the leader might have had a uh, an issue there out of two, though. Looks like he had a slow exit. Maybe got tight. Let's we'll see what happens. We're starting to run out of time, though. Getting later in this race. holding even with the leader and the guy in P2 starting to catch up to him again a little bit. Alright. Tried third gear there. Kinda worked. So I might have to do that a little bit more. It might be time. Time for that a little bit. Nonsense. You gotta be really careful though, you gotta wait until you're pretty much all the way slowed down and at your slowest point in the corner before you do it, because the little bit of practice I did trying it, oops, in practice I realized that if you do it too early you can really knock your car sideways, so yeah, I didn't really execute very well there. It's tough to do, but it was faster that last lap that I did it, so if I can hit it right, I think it could pay off. Got some lap traffic coming up. I didn't really expect that, but that could influence things just a bit. There we go. That was a much better job there, getting that done. See, that was a whole tenth faster than the last lap. You've just done a 57.8. Leader's gone. I might be able to catch up to the four, though. He seems like he's struggling a little bit more. I almost double shifted. That would be bad.
Five to go. Five to go. Chief, I just said that. Third gear's working, it's helping us reel them in a little bit, but is it going to be enough? The lap car's going high, it's cool of them. Hopefully we don't catch them on exit in a bad spot. Guy head is. Outside. It's his exit. Outside is clear. She would have backed off for me a little bit earlier, but we're fine. Shifted to fourth a little bit too early. Ooh, this is fun though. I'm glad to be back. Knew I couldn't miss this combo. Really fun having to shift into third to try to catch him. Difficult challenge having to balance all that, but it is pretty fun. Is he in the wall? No, he gets very close though. He's pushing hard. He sees us catching a little bit. I don't know, I just, I don't know if I'm going to be able to get that last little bit I need. What flag this time? Yeah, we would need a mistake from here, from him here, I think. Okay, Colton, one more to go. Keep it together, we'll be on the podium. Not that was at 38.0. I tried. Good race, good win. We're on the podium. Good drive. Chicken flag, chicken flag. That was fun though. We get P3. Great job. You did really well. Yeah, that was a lot of fun. That did me a he did a great job. He had it. Four that one time. That was fun. All the way. Yeah, it happens. Don't worry about it. Yeah, good racing, guys. That was nice to meet that. Interesting to see what our tires are. 6781 reported in chat. We'll share what we have as well. 7479. I got a black flag for passing on the inside. Then. When we have that right, P3, three though, that's a, that's a solid finish. What's that all about? Race Lab says we should expect an estimate of five I rating gained. <laughs> Woo! We're back, baby. <laughs> uh, Alright, so. Oops, didn't mean to do that. So maybe if we had a little more time, we might have been able to get the four, but I think if we we're going to need a uh, mistake from him in order to get the run we needed, because it can be very difficult to pass here, unless you've got much better tires. But it was fun trying, especially once we started uh, shifting to third. That was a good time. So lap one. 10 does not slow it down enough. I was a little worried about this myself. I don't know what we got going on here. I remember people were saying they got a black flag at the start. I'm not sure. Someone started in fourth gear or something. 17, yeah, they just don't know what they're doing. Like, that's a black flag every time. Leader 80, 84, so, <laughs> That makes sense why he was able to beat us. 
So the, uh, the 17, I guess, learned about uh, not passing to the inside on the starts. 10 just doesn't slow it down enough. I was a little worried about uh, that when I was heading into turn 3. That uh, guys behind weren't going to slow it down enough. Because you really got to get on the brakes pretty good here into turn 3. It's a sharp corner and you're heading in there pretty fast. And unfortunately, a couple guys caught up into it. Richard Petty heading out to the outside wall pretty hard. He's already got damage, so that thing wasn't turning very well, it looked like. Up 16, about halfway through the race. Another wall hit. Pretty good one, too. Up 20. Turn 2 wall getting a lot of guys as they start uh, losing grip and uh, overdriving it through there. It's uh, not very banked. It's pretty flat out there, so you really got to be careful about how much uh, speed you're carrying. That's why I think it really helps to keep it by that white line and just being really uh, careful about how much throttle you're putting into it down there. See, this guy's heading out to the wall. He's got no grip, and especially if you get out of that groove a little higher, there's no grip on the uh, middle or outside lines there. You just start four tire sliding. The six experiencing a little bit as well, but he just kind of backs it down so he doesn't get the wall. And uh, we're already to the end of this thing almost. Yeah, there you go. This track uh, allows people to spread apart pretty well, usually. So a little less uh, carnage there. You can see we had like a four and a half second gap to the guy behind us. He's got a couple seconds there. So, pretty spread apart field overall. Um, I guess as tires came in and things, and with how difficult it is to pass, blah, blah, blah. So, that will do it for this one. I want to look at the race results page, but I'm actually not familiar with how to do that um, with the UI that we now have to use. So, how do, how do I do? How do you, how do? I don't know. Um, give me a second here. I will try to figure it out. Um, and so you're not waiting for me. I'm just going to hit pause for a second. All right, there it is. I figured out how to do it. Hopefully you can see that all right. We actually get six I rating. Woo. Instead of five. <laughs> and uh, there you see it's a 2169 strength of field. And uh, we will get P3 and 115 championship points. So I'm, I'm definitely okay with that. I'm happy. Um, first race back and uh, pretty clean throughout the field except for that uh, little thing that happened at the start I think is probably the the one thing the one big thing that happened so uh, fastest lap how do you see that on this I am less familiar they don't highlight it I guess why do you not highlight the fastest lap that makes it harder to find it looks like it was probably the winner here by uh, just a tiny tiny bit so the uh, leader Gets the win, leads all the laps, snoozes himself to a victory. <laughs> he didn't have too much trouble with it, but uh, yeah, we kind of kept up for a little bit. And uh, that will do it for this one. So thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And uh, I will see you in the next one, whenever that might be. Thanks for watching.